Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about how you can get Vagrant set up on your computer. Uh, so the process isn't too complicated. Um, we gotta go to vagrantup.com, and from there, obviously, we're gonna be grabbing the latest version of Vagrant for whichever operating system you happen to be running on. Obviously, as you can see, I'm on Windows 10. So I would grab the universal package for Windows, but you can see it works on Mac OS and Debian, well, Linux as well. So uh, getting the package is going to kind of vary depending on those operating systems. So you go ahead and install uh, Vagrant pretty much the same way you would any other package. And uh, from there, you also need to grab Oracle VirtualBox. So VirtualBox uh, basically allows you to do virtualization on your computer, um, having operating systems installed uh, into a file rather than being the core OS that your computer boots into. Um, and if you've never seen the VirtualBox interface, it's going to look something like this if you uh, load it up. But you don't actually have to load it up, though, because uh, Vagrant goes ahead and basically boots into it, loads up all the files and stuff automatically for it, um, kind of using it in more of a command prompt terminal style. Um, so you can see I have these two VirtualBox instances created for two different types of Vagrant, VVV and uh, VCCW. They're both for uh, development for WordPress. Um, but all that's really important is that you have VirtualBox installed. So install Vagrant, install VirtualBox. And then the third thing you need to do is to go grab uh, the zip for any Vagrant development environment. So these things are going to have... A vagrant file ends them, um, usually come as a zip file, so you extract the zip somewhere on your computer. So in this case, I created a folder on my computer called Vagrant, it's in my documents, um, and in there I have my different Vagrant packages. So whatever was in the zip file, I just extracted it over here and called it VCCW or VVV, depending on the development environment we're talking about. Uh, and, and these files actually are remarkably small because what they do is that they have all the instructions for setting up your Vagrant box. And then when you actually run Vagrant, it's going to download everything you need, like the operating system. Uh, if you're doing a, a WordPress variant of Vagrant, it will grab the WordPress packages and the web server and just have everything pre-installed using one simple command for you. So it's like you went ahead and installed Linux on VirtualBox, and then I did all the manual work, but it has everything done for you uh, because these guys basically wrote the script to do it, and that, that's all Vagrant really does. Um, so once you've gone ahead and created those folders, you got the Vagrant file and everything else in them, the provision folders, yada yada, uh, and then you have to open up these folders in command prompt. So in this case, I need to navigate to C drive, users, Chris, documents, Vagrant, VCCW. Uh, of course, the paths are going to uh, vary a little bit if you're on Linux or Mac. And then you go into your command prompt. You change into the folder. So basically, uh, CD, change directory into this. Uh, and as you can see from all this stuff over here, I ran a command called Vagrant up. So if you type in Vagrant up, well, I'm actually not going to show what that will do right now because I've already gone ahead and done it. Then what will happen is it'll go through all the tasks uh, that that Vagrant hi uh, file has in uh, written into its code. It'll get the machine loaded up, installed, and provisioned, uh, which is what they call the process of basically everything you see here. And yeah, they do do a lot of stuff. Um, Installing Ruby gems, installing WordPress, uh, lots of junk. And then at the end of that, it's uh, basically going to have it um, up and running uh, for WordPress web development specifically. I, I believe it automatically writes into your host file the changes. I think there was one um, one operating system where you needed to manually do that. I don't remember if it was Windows or not, uh, but of course that varies depending on what kind of vagrant you're using. Uh, and then once once that's done, uh, the instructions are going to vary a little bit. But in uh, my case, because I'm using the WordPress Vagrant, I would just go to the web address for that, uh, basically that Vagrant instance, which in this case is vccw.dev, and I can start doing the development work on it. Um, now, worth mentioning, 
that uh, for a vagrant, um, we have these folders here, and it creates one called WordPress. So this varies depending on what kind of vagrant you're using. But this is actually kind of um, a folder that talks to the Vagrant OS, but also exists on the outside, where any files I want to put into my WordPress development, um, I would uh, actually just kind of put here. So themes, I can drop them in there. Uh, that's all well and good. And I believe uh, for other kinds of Vagrant, it's going to be similar, where they'll have one of these folders where you can put your files in, you can edit uh, and probably most importantly, to actually edit and develop your scripts from. Um, so look for the instructions on specifically how to, uh, which folder you'd be looking at for that. Um, but that's the gist of how you install Vagrant. So once again, just to quickly go through the steps, install Vagrant, uh, just like you would any other uh, package or software. Install VirtualBox, same way. Grab your, vir your uh, Vagrant development environment or really the uh, zip file that contains the instruction files, the Vagrant file and the provision scripts. Um, navigate to that folder and then type in Vagrant up. And at the first time it runs, it'll automatically run the provision. And assuming you get no errors, it should be up and running after a little bit of time. And uh, then just continue following the instructions on whatever uh, specific Vagrant project you happen to be running. And you should be able to get to go on uh, using that as your development environment. So uh, hopefully I've made this pretty clear for you guys out there on how to get Vagrant up and running on your machine. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my future video content.